Oh no, he's freezing. But he could be in big trouble here. He freezes again. If that invis tower dies before the town hall dies. Oh no! Oh, town hall invisible! Klaus! We're back, ladies and gentlemen, with the next matchup today. We got Queen Walkers taking on Entropy Gaming in the Black Luck Cup. Let's see who's going to be victorious today. Gaku is going in with the first attack of the match. A lot of Inferno baby dragons here. All right. With some skeleton spells. Rocket balloons on the top side. Inferno babies from the left. Warden on air to support. Battle blimp is in. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Battle blimp makes it to the town hall. Down it goes with the help of the rage. And the freeze. Sweet, that first star already secured. Warden going up with Inferno Babies. King and Queen being deployed on the left side of the base. We freeze the Inferno with the Poison Tower. Lots of Inferno Babies making their way toward the bottom side. We're gonna heal that left group, okay. Well, that monolith never dropped, that's awkward. We're gonna drop a skeleton spell, trying to distract it. King popping his ability on the south side of the base. More skeleton spells down there. We're sending Royal Champion. Queen getting stuck on the King. She might have to go to ability there. Ooh, she barely did not. Giant Bomb almost forced Queen ability, but she still doesn't go to ability. Unicorn can try to get her back up toward full health. We freeze on the Monolith on the top side. One Inferno Baby takes it down. Lava Hound in the CC that we have to worry about. This could get a little dicey. King trying to bust through the wall. Inferno Baby Dragons will take out the Ice Golem pretty quickly. Queen going to the Hound. Inferno Babies will help smoke it. We got a Poison Spell to help deal with the pups. Two Freezes in the bag. Still quite a bit of base left, though. There's a Giant. Some Archers on the right side. Now we're just relying on these Freeze Spells. Gonna have to freeze the enemy Royal Champion to get through her. And we do. Pop RC ability. Diggy's dead. Royal Champion's still not going for the RC. The Inferno Babies take her out. Queen's busting through a wall. We got her ability. We got one more freeze. It'll be close, but I don't think he gets it. Those Inferno babies die. They don't get the multi. Queen can't reach it unless she goes all the way around or bust through a wall. We go with the freeze early. Holding her ability for now. Minion on the bottom side. Now we pop her ability. Gold storage and a skeleton trap distracts. Gaku's in trouble. Unicorn's gonna die. Archer Tower, Cannon, Combo Wombo, pick off the Queen. Down she goes, and it's gonna fall short. This minion should be able to get another one or two buildings, but it's gonna be a two-star for Gaku. Urak 38 is in with some Electro Titan action. Balloons, blimp on the top left side of the base. It's gonna be Super Archers. Oh. Invis? Are they in the poison? Invis? Double clone? Rage? Hello, tornado! Oh, he lost a lot of archers! Next Invis, he's got one more and that's it. Ooh, they get the town hall, okay. They get the monolith. Oh, not quite. Almost. But the monolith stays up. The scatter shot stays up. That could be super important. But he still has the warden to help with the rest of the attack. That's also pretty critical. Did not have to use the warden for that blimp, but no more spells for the rest of the attack. Drop the queen to help get through these ice golems quickly. The warden finished off the funnel. Looks like we're going to smash in toward the top side of the base. Baby Dragon on the one o'clock side to help get some of these buildings shape up the pathing. Julio. Send the E Titans and hope that the monolith does not target your queen. Did the Warden get hit by the Eagle? He did. The Warden already took a lot of damage. He's okay for now. When the E Titans going around the outside, it's a little awkward. We're not using the King for some reason. We're gonna send him on the left side, okay. We pop that warden ability, everybody invincible for a few seconds. Last two healers are deployed as well, king on the left side. Where do we send the royal champion? 
being super patient. Not dropping her just yet. There she goes behind the king to help support. We find some Teslas over there on Kazuma's base. Some skelly traps as well. King should hopefully be able to get through those pretty quickly. Queen and Ward is still wrapping around this middle section of the base, taking out that right scatter. Royal Champion and Diggy teaming up on the left side. They're getting distracted by skelly traps though. Diggy gonna go stun the scatter shot. We're sending headhunters to try and get this king where they timed perfectly. Ooh, they might all die there. Uh oh. Queen, the Phoenix, trying to keep her alive for a few more seconds, but she's gonna die. E Titans all dying on the outside of the base. This is fizzling out fast for Entropy Gaming. And it's gonna be a defense for Kazuma. Gaku was able to get 91% on his attack. And Burak not gonna match it. Gonna get much lower percent here. So advantage Queen Walkers after that first hit. Nice try here on this one, but it does fall short at 70. 7% Stars is in with some Zap Lalo for Queen Walkers. Anti three star base here with a Rage Tower and an Invis. Ooh, interesting. Let's see what he does. Where do we start? Stars oftentimes takes that full 30 seconds, but here we go. A little zappy zappy action takes out the Rage Tower and takes out the Inferno Tower right away. Okay. King with the Frosty, Queen to push him inside toward the Eagle Artillery. King also gonna end up fighting the enemy Royal Champion and the King right after that. Hello, Skelly Trap. We send a Headhunter. Perfect. We can pop King ability, that Headhunter's still gonna help get through the King as well. That's a nice Headhunter. Not gonna NGL on you. And hello, Log Launcher. Ooh, let's zoom out, see what all this Log Launcher can get. Looks like it's gonna get the multi for sure. Whatever's inside of it can get the expo. Is there any chance this Log Launcher can take out the Monolith and potentially trigger the Invis Tower early? I think that's actually the goal. Queen had to go to ability. We got Ice Golem and Royal Champion working in on the top side of the base now. If that Log Launcher hits the Monolith, there goes the Invis Tower. That's nice. Now he needs to start the Lalo before the Invis Tower comes back to life. This is such a good plan from Stars. I like that usage of the Log Launcher to activate the Invis Tower early. Ice Golem's coming out of the defensive clan castle, but they're stuck on the Yetis. Those Yetis also distracting the Monolith. We got Balloons getting to the Town Hall. We pop Warden ability at the perfect time. We're hasting our way through the Giga Poison before we take any damage at all. Royal Champion stuck on those Ice Golems. But after that Expo goes down, she's not taking any damage. This is looking so good for Stars. He's gonna use another Haste. Still has two freezes for the back end of the base. Gonna start freezing up that scatter shot right there. Two more balloons for the back end while the air defense is distracted by Lava Puffs. Down goes the scatter shot. Down goes the air defense. We got the freeze for the back end and he could have swagged it because this base is absolutely crushed. My goodness, what an amazing zap. Sui Lalo plan from stars with the log launcher. That was nice. And it's a three star for Queen Walkers. Reen is in with some Electro Titan action. Julio. Got a balloon, rocket balloons. Battle blimp. He's going for a blizz. This is risky, man. Oh, that blimp is not gonna get over the wall. Better hope that's Super Archers. Okay, it is Super Archer, so it really doesn't matter, does it? He's gonna clone them over the wall. Rage. Invis is late. Invis was super late. Rain! He's only got like two archers left. Tell me you at least get the town hall, buddy. Oh my gosh, dude. He does. But wow, that was sketchy. Almost lost all the archers with that late Invis. Town hall drops. He's got a chance. I think he was expecting to get some of those Inferno Towers and did not get any of them. So this could be a little sketchy for the rest of the attack. Pulls the Lava Hound over to the right side of the base. We got Queen to fight it. We got an E-Titan to help with the pups because we don't have any poison spells. We don't have any spells left at all, actually. Ego Artillery already away. We're dropping the Warden on the right side to help support. King to go in toward the scatter shot. There is a Poison Tower there that's going to hit pretty hard. 
this is about to get wonky. Wall breaker doesn't really help much. Poison tower goes off. We send a headhunter. Queen going with the king. A couple E titans going to the right. We don't have any spells to help support as the monolith locks on to an E girl. She's going to get absolutely bamboozled. Down she goes. We pop king ability. Does he have the yak to help bust through the wall? No, he's got a frosty, but we pop his ability and we pop the warden ability shortly after. He'll get through the wall. Second poison tower goes off, doing a lot of damage, slowing everybody down in the middle of the base there. Royal champion with the diggy, gonna get the eagle artillery. Moving her way toward the top side of the base. Okay. Without any spell support, I don't know. I feel like this is gonna fizzle out. Royal champion, gonna fight the enemy queen. Diggy stuns the scatter. Royal Champion having to go to ability. Skeleton traps are distracting. The Headhunters got bamboozled by the scatter shot. Queen lost her unicorn. Now she's beaten on what might just be the worst wall possible in the world. Queen, you really gotta just pick the... Oh my gosh. I mean, she gets the scatter in the enemy queen, but now she's just beaten on another wall. Rip her. E-Titans, Warden, some healers wrapping their way around the outside of the base. If those healers keep some of these troops alive for a while, this could still pick up decent percent. But the Warden goes down. I only see one E-Titan left. Nope, it's gonna fizzle out. It's gonna fizzle out here. Nice try to read. But it's not gonna work out. 79% on this one. Kazuma is in with some more Lalo for Queen Walkers. Three invisibilities. One rage. What's he got for us? He's got a poison spell as well. Three rocket balloons. Entropy Gaming seem to be rocking all anti three star bases here today. They think that might be what's going to be able to stop Queen Walkers. We'll see. We'll see. Azuma's starting with the Flame Flinger here on the south side of the base. King with the Frosty over on the right side. Okay, Ice Golem is in. We need to make sure that King's gonna go inside and take the Eagle down. Can we send a Headhunter? Headhunter? Yes, Headhunter's in. Poison Tower went off. He must have used, what, a balloon or a hog or something? He doesn't have any hogs. It must have been a balloon that pulled that Poison Tower. That's a nice touch. Probably a rocket balloon. Road Champion making her way in on the right side of the base to help support the King. Queen's finding a lot of Teslas. Flame Flinger's still getting some really good value with those Builder Huts and the Spell Tower touching the Scatter. Look at this, the Flame Flinger actually hits all four at once. That's actually really good Flinger value. Question is, does the Flinger get those buildings down in time to force Queen up toward the multi? Yes, oh, the timing is spot on. Royal Champion with the Diggy stunning the Scatter. She gets the Scatter. No, she switches targets. Oh, what? She still got the Scatter? I thought she was distracted by Skellies, but she still finishes it off. Queen pops her ability. Going to take out at least one Ice Golem. Single target in front of Tower is locking onto her, though. Half the base is gone from just the Sui. He is going to have to lolo through the Town Hall, but there's no Spell Towers right next to the Town Hall, so I'm not really scared about the Town Hall part. I am curious to see how much damage that Poison Tower is going to do, though, coming out of the Warden ability. He did miss this freeze on the Town Hall. Now he's going to freeze it again. Still has a lot of spells. Jeez. There's a Rage. There's a Hound flying across, but the Tornado Trap catches it. Ooh, now we got two Poisons right next to each other, making a Venn diagram that the Balloons have to fly through. Can we get out of there in time? We got a lot of Hay spells. He needs to use them. Use your haste, brother. Ah, poison spell. Freeze spell. Haste again. One more haste. Two invisibility spells still in the bag that he never even used for his heroes. Sneaks in a headhunter from the top side of the base that finishes off the royal champion. Haste our way in toward the single target inferno tower. All the defenses are dead. We got extra balloons for cleanup. 18 seconds on the clock. Two. Swag, invisibility spells, and the base is crushed. Kazuma getting it done for Queen Walkers. Lalantos with some more E-Titans, six lightning spells, one earthquake, 
against LP's base. They desperately need a three star here. They even have a chance. Let's see what they can do. Where does he start? Probably with the Warden Walk. Yes, Warden. On the south side of the base. Oh. Lightning spells. I'm guessing are gonna be for the monolith? Yep. And he can even reach the X bow with it. Takes out a builder hut too. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Flame Flinger is gonna go toward the town hall now that the earthquake spell woke it up. As soon as the warden finishes making a funnel, we'll be able to send our E Titans to the left side of the base over there. My hand gestures aren't really working, but you get the point. Finds a couple of Teslas early. Drops the queen. And here we go. Baby dragon to funnel. Flame Flinger gonna be going toward the wizard tower and the bomb tower. Eventually it'll make its way over to the town hall. E Titans easily kill the skeleton traps with their little aura effect. Balloons pulling some air traps. King and some witches on the outside of the base. We're gonna rage. Here we go. Poison tower is gonna go off. Gonna slow us down quite a bit. Hello, Tornado Trap. We're popping Warden Ability. Well, that tornado is there to stop a battle blimp for the Town Hall. Neat. Flame Flinger still going strong. E Titans making their way in toward the Ice Golems. Cool. Next Rage Spell in the core. Royal Champion's already been deployed from the left side of the base. E Titans in the middle, gonna take out the Eagle. Gonna take out the Inferno. Royal Champion gets the single. Flame Flinger going for the Town Hall. Yes, it should have enough HP to take it out, but we are gonna lose all these healers in the core. E Titans pushing into the back end. Scattershot. Royal Champion and Diggy still looking solid on the top side of the base. This is looking good for Lelantos. One minute on the clock. We got an Archer over at 3 o'clock. RC still looking solid. Gonna be able to get those Teslas on the top side. Flame Flinger, one more shot. Down goes the Town Hall. Second star finally secured. Queen pops her ability. Gonna get a couple storages. Wall Breaker on the outside. Don't really do a whole lot. We got the Royal Champ ability. Seeking Shield about to go off as the air defense dies. Boom, 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 and boom. All the defenses are dead. Queen and Royal Champion tag team that Barbarian King. Down he goes. They finish him off in style. Plenty of time left over. It's a triple for Entropy Gaming, and they might just be back in this match. LP, with two healers, six lightnings, with an earthquake, a dragon, three riders, a hound. Bro, what do you even call this? I don't know. We got a flame flinger on the top side. And Zappy Zaps take out a monolith, an inferno, and an X-Bow. That's a pretty high value zap right there. Got a Builder Hut, too. Hog Rider on the left is just checking for traps, and ooh, he found a lot of traps. Three Teslas, Skeleton Trap. Oh, he's only got two archers helping now. Flame Flinger took a bit of damage there. That archer on the left not even helping. It was just going for the army camp the whole time. Queen with the Unicorn and two healers on the left side of the base. She's going to be responsible for the Town Hall. King's in on the right side of the base. Royal Champion already deployed as well. Queen taking a lot of damage. Is he paying attention to that? Drops the rage. Was it in time? Oh, barely in time. Queen's okay. Queen's okay. King has the Phoenix helping. Royal Champion's actually pathing her way down to go help the king. We send a couple of headhunters. They might have been too early. Or were they? Or were they? Ooh, sends another. Royal Champion locking on the enemy Royal Champion now. Queen making her way in toward the town hall. We have her ability? Yes, we do. Town Hall will be secured. Flame Flinger still getting some good value. Royal Champion having to work on a Lava Hound now after she killed the enemy Royal Champion. Phoenix brings the King back to life. We're dropping a Poison Spell to help the RC. Three Dragon Riders in from the top side. Queen's already dead. Healers are moving across the map. They're dead as well. They pulled some traps so the Dragon Riders don't have to hit them. Normal Dragon going in with the Dragon Riders. Sending a couple of Headhunters. Popping the Warden ability. Headhunters making their way to this enemy Archer Queen. They're, ask they're also going to pull the Poison Tower as they take out the Queen. That's pretty cool. Royal Champion did already use her ability. She was able to finish off all the pups. Takes out that Poison Tower before it has a chance to recharge. Baby Lalo 
coming in from the south side of the base. Bro, what in the creativity is going on here? Freeze for the back end scatter shot and LP crushes it. <laughs> what an interesting plan. He really picked apart that base section by section and just dissected it like a doctor. My goodness. Pops on the left side, tons of balloons still alive with the Warden and a Dragon Rider. This is crushed. I don't even know what to call it. You guys tell me, what do we call this attack? He just absolutely picked it apart, one compartment at a time, and down goes the base. Addy is in with the next attack, some Inferno Baby Dragons. Just like Gaku had for us at the beginning. Let's see if Addy can make it work. Some sneaky goblins over on the right. Cool. Ooh, lots of traps. Oh, lots of traps. Oh my goodness. Tornado trap getting pulled as well. So many skellies coming over for the flame flinger. But look, that fire effect killed almost all of them. That's nice. A little fire splash from the flame flinger killed most of them on the way over there. What's next? We got nine more sneakies. So he's going to sneaky the town hall. But we're being patient. We're going to wait. Not going to rush it. Now we're going to send them. Invisibility. Town hall secured. And they pulled the poison tower too. No, they did not pull the poison tower. That's awkward. Something killed the flame flinger. Uh-oh. What was it? What was on the flame flinger? I don't know. But oh well. Here we go. Inferno babies are in on the left side of the base. Those balloons will, will pull the poison tower. King and Queen are in on the left side of the base. I feel like it's still super widespread. So his Inferno babies are going to end up splitting into a bunch of different groups. Warden's going to follow the top group, and this lower group's not going to get any support. Poison tower going off on the swap side. Just got to slowly wait and see how much value these babies can get. What a strange sentence to say. How much value can the babies get? <laughs> Here we go. Heroes, Warden, Inferno Babies looking solid on the top side. The group on the lower side, they're still pushing. We keep using freeze spells to help them out. Monolith is going to go down thanks to that last freeze spell. That's looking good. We poison the enemy Royal Champion, send the friendly Royal Champion on the top side. Skeleton spell to help distract the single. This has a solid chance. We got Queen ability. We got Royal Champ ability. No more spells. Ooh, we're losing lots of Inferno Babies. They're all going down to the air defense. Royal Champ gets in there. Diggy's stunning. Queen still has the Unicorn on the outside. Still got her ability. Air defense locks onto the Owl. Almost takes it out, but Diggy stuns it just in time. We need the Royal Champion to get through the Expo and the Scatter Shot here. Can she get through both? Diggy stuns the Expo. Scatter gets another shot off. If Diggy can stun the Scatter, RC will take it out. And she does. That Diggy is so clutch. So clutch. This is either a triple or a time fail. Go, go, go. 20 seconds on the clock. We got queen ability. Might as well pop it soon for the extra archer support. Royal champion's dead. This is running really low on time. If there's any sort of skelly trap, it's a time fail for sure. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. His sneakies pulled all the skellies earlier. One second to spare. Maybe one and a half. It's a triple. And entropy gaming are still in it. Klaus Nos is in. Five zaps, two earthquakes, and a Sui Lalo to follow. Here we go. Let's see what he's got. Stars had a beautiful zap Sui Lalo earlier. Let's see if Klaus can do the same. If he triples, Queenwalkers win this match for sure. Where are we zapping? He's gonna start with some barbarians all over the place. That makes me think he's gonna use some sort of flame flinger. No, he's just checking for Teslas before he sends the king in with a golem. Couple rocket balloons on the left. Okay. Zap Quake takes out an Inferno Tower, an Expo, something else. Was it a hut? Um, yeah, it was a hut. Log Launcher on the left side of where the king was. Okay, interesting. That golem's still distracting the scatter shot, even from the outside of the base. Poison Tower goes off on his king. We're sending the royal champion to help support the king as well. 
queen's meant to walk on the outside all the way up toward the eagle log launcher forces the invis tower to go off early that's calculated now we're we gonna funnel anything on the left balloons and a dragon rider what the here comes CC troops. Queen's fighting the king. Do we send a headhunter to help her? Ice Golem's coming out. We're gonna funnel that Archer Tower on the left. He's multitasking like a boss, bro. Queen goes to ability. Does she go inside for the eagle? That would help. Royal Champion goes down, and we're just gonna send the Lalo into the town hall. He didn't send it early enough. The Invis Tower is gonna recharge. Oh no, he's freezing. But he could be in big trouble here. He freezes again. If that Invis Tower dies before the Town Hall dies. Oh no! Oh, Town Hall Invisible! Klaus! They're skipping it! No! One more freeze! Does the Phoenix get it? He sends two more balloons from the backside. Queen's still wrapping around. She skipped the Eagle! Balloons! The Owl does a 180 quick scope. Down goes the Town Hall. Balloons still making their way into the scatter shot. We got a monolith to worry about. We got an eagle still to worry about. No spells to use. He's sending all his minions to get the eagle. But look at all the balloons that are still alive. It's crushed. Wow. <laughs> that was hilarious. Everybody's skipping the town hall and he still is able to get it done. Klaus, you crazy man. Plenty of time on the clock as the balloons and the warden get the clan castle building. It is a 14 star performance for Queen Walkers today. Leo is in with the final attack of the match. Here we go. Four super witches on this one, two jumping spells. We start with the warden on the top side of the base with the lassie with some healers to set a funnel. Wallbreaker over at 11 o'clock. Yeti to funnel at 10. Okie dokie. we got three more healers to deploy. We only use two of them early. Wizards behind that Yeti. Trying to make sure we get the cannon. And... Ooh, he might not. The rest of the Yeti mites go to the other cannon. So he doesn't get either. Not the end of the world. How long are we going to wait for this warden to do his thing? Not, 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 not very long at all, because here come the witches. In from the 11 o'clock side of the base with the queen, with the rest of the healers, some Coco loons to help support. No zaps on this attack, just a lot of rages, a lot of jumps. King and siege barracks from the left side of the base to help support. All right. Giant gets sprung to the shadow realm. Balloon will take off that cannon that the Yeti missed earlier. E-Girl and uh, Ice Golem coming out of the defensive clan castle. King wrapping his way away inside toward the Eagle Artillery. Wizards from the Siege Barracks still helping to support. Poison Tower goes off on our troops. Second Poison Tower goes off on our troops. Lots of damage from the poisons. Still holding on to this ward ability? No, we popped it already. Second jump in the core, freezing the town hall. Not able to hit the monolith with it though. Royal Champions in from the left side of the base. Valkyries coming out of the Siege Barracks to help support. Nobody got that multi though, and the Royal Champion's gonna continue to skip it for now. Or will she go and get it? She might go get it after this expo. Town Hall drops, Queen gonna walk right inside the Giga Poison though, like a dummy. Oh, that's gonna hurt. She pops her ability, expo switch target to the Unicorn. Down goes the Unicorn. Down goes the Warden. Down goes the Queen. Healers are stuck way in the back on the last Super Witch. Actually, there's two of them still alive. Diggy stuns. Royal Champion's got a chance. She's cruising through this bottom right side of the base as the Super Witch moves up toward the Expo. She's got healers. There's an invis. Diggy still stunning. Is there any way this could pull through? Ooh, he needs that Expo to go down. Diggy stuns again. Royal Champion's still pushing. We're gonna freeze that other Expo, but the freeze was late. The Super Witch dies. Royal Champion gets stuck on the King. The Headhunter not gonna be able to get through him. 30 seconds to go, but it has fizzled out. Nice try to Leo, but Entropy Gaming only gonna be able to walk away with two triples today. And it's just not good enough to beat Queen Walkers when they're performing well like they did today. Queen Walkers with a nice 14 star performance. Nice try to Entropy. Both stars is still pretty decent in this meta. Are just trying to get one more building. This one falls short of 84%, and it is going to be a victory for Queen Walkers. 
15 stars to 12. 98.2%. 88. 